friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this i belongs to a close relative of mine and she has come to me traveling a long distance to get this surgery done by me it's a great honor for me and i thank her for giving me this honor the ocular surface has been thoroughly cleaned thoroughly irrigated with povidon iodine and bss balanced salt solution this is the main incision this is a triplanar incision 2.8 mm in size on the posterior aspect of the limbus this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and beneath this air bubble beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied to stain the anterior capsule of the cataractus lens this dye will help in capsulorexis uniform staining is important the dye is washed out using a simco canola and bss and now the anterior chamber is filled up with this visco elastic substance this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and it is applied over the ocular surface over the cornea for better visibility and now this is a uh, utrita forceps capsular axis is being done with the help of this instrument i usually go anti clockwise raising a capsular tag some colleagues may go clockwise whatever is comfortable for them and now hydro dissection is done with bss and this 27 gauze cannula the lens mass is separated from the remaining capsule the nucleus is mobilized and then viscoelastic substance is injected again and now is the time to rotate the nucleus i'm using the nucleus by manually using two hooks so that it gets separated from the capsule entirely visco is injected again and now is the time to introduce the fake needle into the eye the machine being used is faros from otley switzerland the fake needle goes in with its bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed this is removal of some superficial lens matter so that visibility becomes good now the hand piece is turned to make the bevel up chopper is introduced the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and the nucleus is divided into two halves and now each hemineucleus is subdivided it is held with vacuum and the chopper is used to divide it this is the other hemineucleus it is also divided into 
two pieces. An attempt was made to divide it, but it didn't. So, I have to use vacuum and ultrasonic energy to emulsify this half. And it is done. Now, I pick up this portion of the cataract and emulsify. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 60 percent. Fluorite is 45 ml per minute and a vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. She is diabetic for several years and that's why the lens fibers are sticky. They don't tend to get separated. And this is the last portion of the nucleus. At this time, the vacuum is decreased, fluoride is decreased, and with great safety margin, the nucleus is managed. Dear colleagues, whenever you have a close relative to operate on, you will have rapid heartbeats. But unless you control yourself, unless you calm yourself, you cannot do a good surgery. So the key is think she is a relative of yours, but she is just another human being. And you have to give very good service to her as you give to other human beings. You have to calm your mind, you have to be calm, calm and composed and then only you can do a good surgery. I have operated on many, many of my relatives and whenever they come, I just think that she is just another human being and I have to be myself. I have to control my heartbeats and then only I can do good surgery. In this case, the nucleus has been managed, the antechamber has been filled up by visco and now this is the lens. It's a very good lens. This is Technis 1 from Johnson & Johnson USA. No glistening, remains clear over the ears, aspheric optics very sharp focus and you have crystal clear image of an object on your retina with optical correction. Here goes the lens into the interior into the capsular bag. Yes, the lens has gone into the capsular bag. The lens unfolds and occupies its shelter in the capsular bag and now the visco that has been used for implantation of this lens is to be removed thoroughly. First Simco goes in, irrigates for some time, irrigates the anterior chamber. The lens is pushed downward Irrigation is done in the capsular bag that is between the lens and the posterior capsule. Again comes thorough removal of visco is very important. Otherwise, the intraocular pressure will become high and the patient will have pain and dimness of vision in the post-op period. And now goes the bimanual irrigation aspiration. Irrigation and aspiration for some time. And all the visco molecules that is there in the eye, inside the eye, are removed. Some more irrigation of the anterior chamber is done. Antichamber is formed and now we are done. We just have to close the incisions. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. 
The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma with BSS. The main incision is a triplanar incision and it will seal by itself. Unless the main wound is stressed too much, triplanar incisions do not require any hydration. Integrity of all the wounds are checked. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. So it has been a very satisfactory surgery. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Please be calm and composed whenever you have to operate on a close relative of yours.